was 17 when I built my first computer. I spent months saving up my money, drove to the nearest CompUSA, and began my first budget build. There's a lot to be said for building your own PC from scratch, but these days, I don't have as much free time, and convenience is something I'm willing to pay a little extra for. Besides, pre-builds have come a long way since then. Companies like NZXT let you customize each individual component, and Corsair sells gaming PCs with all of their own high-quality parts. Unlike some pre-built companies, these brands don't skimp on commonly overlooked yet important components, like a high-quality PSU. I purchased the Corsair i7200 5 months ago. At the time, it was the only way I could get my hands on the 30 series graphics card. And today, with the shortage, that still seems to hold true. The mid-tower case is the 4000D airflow with tempered glass. There are three 120mm fans mounted to the front panel and one mounted to the back, still leaving enough room for a radiator to be mounted to the roof without obstructing the memory slots. All of which have RGB lighting effects that can be controlled by the pre-installed Corsair IQ software. The case's back compartment allows for a clean cable management and the magnetic filters are easy to remove and clean. There are four hard drive trays. My pre-built configuration included a 2TB HDD and a 1TB M.2 SSD attached to the Z490 motherboard. For additional storage, I decided to add a 2TB Samsung 970 in the second M.2 slot. Also included in this configuration is 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM and the Intel i9-10850K processor. When purchased, the only processor option available was the Intel 10850K. Today, there are an additional three AMD Ryzen options, including the 5900X and the 5800X. These are even better options that could beat out the 10850K. Regardless, I'm still very happy with the performance of this processor and it's more than enough for my needs. Corsair offers multiple GPU options from the RTX 3070 to the 3090 and a Radeon RX 6800 XT. My build has the RTX 3080, specifically the MSI Ventus 3X, which has proven to be more than enough for the games I play and is getting an excellent score in the Fire Strike benchmark. In games, I'm consistently seeing frame rates above 60 frames per second at 4K in demanding titles at high settings. Sitting right next to the system, the fans are audible but never distractingly loud during gameplay, hovering around 48 decibels. To figure out the cost difference between purchasing this pre-built and building the exact same computer myself, I went to PC Part Picker to compare. With a nearly $850 premium, it would be difficult to recommend this computer to someone on a budget. But if you want a 3080 and you don't mind spending the extra money for convenience and a two-year full system warranty, then it may be worth it. I usually pair this PC with my 38-inch ultra-wide for more experience-driven games and my Acer XB27 4K 144Hz monitor when I want to play fast-paced first-person shooters. Subscribe if you want to see a review of these monitors in the future. Overall, I have been very happy with this machine. Although there is a premium to pay for the convenience, for me, it is worth it as there is not a single component I wouldn't be willing to buy on its own, and this computer, paired with an ultra-wide or a 4K monitor, has given me the best gaming experience to date. Thanks for watching to the end. If you enjoyed the video, please let me know by giving it a like. I hope to catch you in the next one.